Hello everyone, this is Kill Me Horde and welcome to Dragon Age, the Veil Guard, or as I have previously referred to it as Dreadwolf, Dragon Age Dreadwolf, it's the same game, they just changed the name. I have heard that I may have to recreate our entire Inquisitor from, scra from scratch, but let's find out. I already fiddled with all the settings and everything, if I, I gotta do it again, I'll do it again. Soulless. Smart, thoughtful. Love to hear himself talk. But long ago, he had a different name. The Dreadwolf. Ancient elven god of lies, or heroic rebel against tyranny. Depending on which story you believe. In his desperate fight against the corrupt elven gods, Solus imprisoned them, creating a veil that split our world from the raw magic of the Fade. He had won. But the veil cost the elves everything. Their magic. Their freedom. Even their immortality. Now, Solus wants to tear down that veil. And undo the damage he caused. Even if that means our world has to burn. Somebody's got to stop him. And that's where you come in. Thanks, Varric. I get to come in. This is not an elf. Oh. Oh, my bad, my bad. Okay, okay. So I kind of want to be a mage again. I like playing as mages. They're fun. So I don't think I'm going to be a dwarf because they can't use magic. So I have three options of elf, kunari, and human. Um, I don't think there's actually any real changes in the in the set. I'm going to I'm going to do something, okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna make Google I'm gonna Google roll a d3 okay that's what I'm gonna do because I've got three options to choose from and I don't really care which one I get so I'll just spam click the shit out of roll and see what I get in about one two three uh looks like I'm getting to be an elf once again, an elf. Okay. Oh, ain't no reason for me to cycle appearance because I can just change it right now. Are these all the uh, presets? I actually kind of like the look of this guy. Looks pretty cool. Does not affect gameplay, okay. Just how they're dressed in game for identity. I, I'm gonna leave it as man, he, him. That's just how I feel. Oh boy, we get a... I assume I'm gonna see lighting like this quite often because that's how it was in Inquisition. It was lighting like this. No, okay, so 41, 40, 18, let's... <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh, okay, 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 we can choose head morphs. That That's a lot more customization than I was kind of wanting. I like it about there. That, look, that looks fine. Youthful one. We'll, we'll do some. 
warm skin tone. You got vitiligo? If you got vitiligo, you can make yourself have vitiligo. I don't want vitiligo. Not this time. Oh, I could be wide. It's not flattened face. Oh shit, where was this one at? I don't know where width, width was. Uh, brow spacing, don't care for that. Cheeks and jaw, let's... Um, oh yeah, give him a, give him a outline jaw. Chin. Oh. Oh yeah, you got, he's got to have, oh, hair physics. Oh. And no double chin. We'll, we'll get rid of the double chin completely. Oh yeah, big jaw, <laughs> big chin, the biggest of chins. Hold on, the crimson chin. Nah, I'm not gonna fuck with it too much. <laughs> Strong and pronounced chin. Larynx. Oh, how big of an Adam's apple do you want? I think that's what that's about. No, that's just how big do you want your throat poking out? No, it may, actually, it might be. It might be an Adam's apple thing. I don't know. I can't really tell. Scalp. Let's hide the hair. Oh. Let's not do that anymore. Undergarments. All right, all right, all right. Now listen, I set it up so I could show this on YouTube for a reason. If I didn't have that set up, when I go to body shape like this, it would have had his wangus out. Because there's nudity option in this game. But, you know, you know how it is. It can't... Ooh, hourglass figure. Wide or figure. Strong figure. Put it about there. Skin tone. Yeah, you're fine with the skin tone. Eye shape. Let's see. I actually don't have a problem with his eyes at all. Okay, currently middle iris is that color. Let's change the middle iris. I'm gonna try to model it. Closer to how my eyes actually are. I have a nice blue with green tinting. It's very strange. I don't really understand it. Oh, I'm on drugs. I can't see. Ah, nose is fine. Mouth is fine. Ears. Hi All right, I gotta hide the hair so I can see the ears. Whoops. I want to see all the ear options.
I think two fits pretty good, honestly. Let's go with two. Hairstyle and color. Let's change the hairstyle. We have... Holy mother of God, I've got options. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna start... How's he look with that? And... Is that Ferrex hairstyle? Kind of looks similar to his. Feel free to be upset at me if you like. I don't feel like an elf fits very well with dreads. I, I, it just doesn't seem to click in my brain for that. Actually, no, they look pretty good with it. Pretty good with this. This curly cornrow look. <laughs> Hi, Karen. <laughs> Interesting. I'll keep that one in mind. Kind of looks like a Final Fantasy protagonist. 64. <laughs> yes, bitch. Oh, that's my hairstyle. Let's... <laughs> the bald elf. The balding elf. Okay, 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 okay. So it's in between 60 and 64. Like, I like the way this looks, honestly. But I don't know if I like the hair and the eye type of dealio. So I might go with this. This definitely fits. I'm going with that. Hair color. What color should we make this elf's hair be? Make it a brown. How about a black? Actually... Make it zero, well, a little bit less saturation. I like this color, actually. I like that color. Makeup, uh, yeah, I don't need any makeup. Wait, do I do eyebrow color? Oh, there's more eyebrow shapes, too. This one fits, so I just have to change the color to match the eye, the hair. Eyelashes are fine. Makeup, I'm not doing makeup. Tattoos. I can give them Vaseline if I want, but I don't think I will. I'm going to do this as like a... Uh, city elf type of deal was kind of my plan there scars let's, 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 ooh. What the hell happened here? the ye old nose scar scar of the eye scar over the lip Can I have multiple facial scars? Because I kind of want this. On top of... What is that? I kind of want the, the full face one on top of the chin. And lip. I think I'll go with this first, though. Now you only get... Okay, well, I mean, I don't have nudity enabled, so I can't even see it if I wanted to. Let's go with 
Let's get some nasty body scars going on here. Looks like an acid wash. This looks like something mauled him. I want one that looks like he got cut almost in half. Like that one would look like he got cut almost in half. This one looks more realistic for battle hardened. Go with that. For battle hardened guy. Ah, we don't need paints. There's my guy. There's my guy. Okay, what class am I playing? We're playing mage. So that makes four. Okay, drain life from enemies and cast spells that right with the essence of death itself. Freeze enemies in their tracks and summon the deepest cold to... Oh, these are specializations. It's like blood magic. Elementalism, I guess. Nah, that's be some void magic. This is elementalism. Okay, well, let's look at the warrior. So, berserker champion, reaver, yeah, as they normally have. The duelist type, the saboteur type, and the ranger type. I'm doing mage because I think mage would be pretty cool. Oh god, I get to choose factions? Okay, faction of Grey Wardens. The Veil Jumpers. Daring group explores ancient elven ruins in Arlathan Forest. Although founded by elves, they welcome any brave enough to face Arlathan's reality warping magic. Gain rep with them more quickly. Deal increased damage versus fade touch. Deal slightly increased critical and weak point damage. Grey Wardens, they have the same thing that they always have. Big defense, big health. Damage against Darkspawn. This is kind of their thing. Shadow Dragons. Damage against Venatori. Underground resistance against corrupt rulers and slavery into Venter. Lords of... <coughs> okay. Oh, from Ravain. Okay, Ravaini. Damage against mercenaries. Takedowns of enemies with slightly less effort. Mourn Watch or Necromantic Order from Navara. Increased damage against undead and demons. Additional affliction stacks on targets. Or a crow. I can be an Antivan crow. Okay, honestly. It's going to be between Grey Wardens. Mourn Watchers, Crows, and Shadow Dragons. Once again, I'm going to roll a, D f a D4 this time. Okay, okay. So, one is Grey Warden, two is Shadow Dragons, three is the um, second to last, and four is the last one. Spam, click one, two, three. Okay. We got Morn Watch. Backstory Defender of the Dead. Discovered by undead inside a grand necropolis tomb as an infant, Rook was raised by Morn Watch necromancers, eventually joining the Order. During a civil war between undead nobility, known as the War of the Banners, he led a daring attack on the rebellion's dueling leaders. It was a success, quelling the war and saving lives, but Rook's destruction of these undead nobles was controversial. Some Morn Watchers feared Rook had offended the Order's arist aristocratic patrons and encouraged him to travel for a while. Okay, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at the backstories before I do it. 
Talented new crow. Um, he saw a patrol of Antam herding crop along captives one night, and he saved their lives, but compromised a larger crow operation against them. So they sidelined him for it. Adopted into a military family and joined the Shadow Dragons to fight from the shadows for change in Menorathus. He sneaked the dignitary deep into Venatory controlled zones and brought him back along with the rescued slaves. And they brought Rook to the attention of the Venatory, so they had to keep him out of sight. During a large Darkspawn incursion, he was ordered to hold the line with other Grey Wardens until reinforcements arrived. He argued that by then, villagers under attack would be dead. He disobeyed orders, leading his squad into the incursion and sealing the tunnel to the Dark Roads. Turning the tide, and they were driven off, saving the villagers. Others with connections of noble families did not like his independent streak, and they chose... Rook chose to step away. I'm going to go with Morn Watch because that's what I rolled, but I do like the Grey Warden one. Okay, combat preset. Is this... Oh, this is difficulty. This is difficulty. So... <laughs> Adventurer's balanced. Uh, I don't think I'll do adventurer. I'm probably going to do keeper. Storyteller is going to be like baby mode. Keeper is going to be the easy mode, normal. So I, I'm going to play easy because I'm here to have fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Time to get to work. So this guy kind of looks like a thad. When you say so. <laughs> What's he been saying now? Well, we're not in trouble. Let's move. <sighs> well. <sighs> well, we made it. <sighs> I'm happy we're here. All of us. Hi. We'll be working together. Hi. Hi. We'll be working. Hi. We'll be working together. He's got to have the deep, the deep voice, you know. Hell no! I gotta change my backstory. I gotta change the Inquisition backstory now. This this is whack. Now, I, okay, I have to. Do I have to go through here and make my entire Inquisitor again? I said I might have to, and that's gonna suck if I have to. Let's. God damn it, I do. Also, no camera for this series because I don't feel like it. This is going to be a pain in my uh, behind. No melanin. Because I had her be like fucking white as hell. She was kind of ugly looking after I made her, but... Brows are fine. Cheeks and jaw, let's... No 
overbite, jawbone. I didn't. I know I didn't change the jawbone on her. Chin was. <laughs> it's actually funny watching, making these. Um, larynx probably would be gone. Uh, body shape and proportions. Very small. She was shorter, but she wasn't. size I hate that I have to sit here and make both characters right now because it's just kind of booty that you have to just change the color to you know, I'm gonna have to I'm just gonna pause this and go back and find one of my videos to look at because this is gonna be a pain in my behind Okay, this is as close as I can make it to her. I know I've got the face wrong because it's not as flat as hers was. And the hair's wrong, but they don't have the hair option. They don't even have the hair option that I had before. This is the closest there is. It took me forever to figure out the Vaseline. But that's as close as I can make my Inquisitor be to my Inquisitor, of course. Oh, fuck. What was her name? Fuck. Um. Oh! There's Mineral. It's good to see you again. It's good to see you again. Yeah, that's the voice. That's my Inquisitor. That's that's just what I'm Oh fuck. Oh I get to choose the world state stuff now. Um Oh she romanced. Uh Solus. So this is what I was hearing about only four choices actually mattered. Like, everybody just needs to shut the fuck up. I romance Solus. And what did we do to the Inquisition? We disbanded it. And what did I do about Solus? I vowed to save him from himself in the past as the Inquisitor. That's what we that's what she went with. That's what people were talking about. Only four choices matter. Like I wish everyone would shut up. But they're nonsense. EA is moving away from Dragon Age Keep, and I'm happy about it, because Dragon Age Keep was a bitch to mess with. Here we are. We're, we're heading in. We're going to see old man Varric and be sad about it. So, where were we? Oh, right. Him. Our best plan is to stop the Dreadwolf before he can perform his ritual. After following his trail across half the known world, we finally tracked him to Manrathus, capital of the Tevinter Imperium. But to find the Dreadwolf in a city this big, we need a local expert. So, naturally, our story begins where all great stories begin. With the seediest bar in town. And a missing contact. Oh, we need help in Minrathus. Why don't we just fucking ask Dorian? Dorian should still be around.
Let's try this again. Where's Ned Gallus? You think you can come into my bar and make demands? Oh, yes. Nev Gallus is my only shot at finding the Dread Wolf. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not leaving until I know where she is. Be ready to talk by the time I get to you. <laughs> Darling, you're adorable. <laughs> Keep in mind, I'm a mage and fighting hand to hand this well. Not enough gold in the world for this. Varric, now! Meet Bianca. She'd like you to stay a while. Oh, yeah. Nev Gallus. Dumat Plaza. The Venatori cultists took her to Dumat Plaza. Thanks. I'm a no-nots and stipe this game, Your friend it seems like. Gallus. He's at Dumat Plaza. I heard. That's why you're my second in command. Although, for the record, there was probably an easier way to do that than fighting an entire bar. See you say that. But we do have Nev's location now, so... Don't get cocky. <laughs> Come on. Harding will be worried. Okay, I'm happy right. they brought that back, Breaks at least. Over. That they're still using the... I hope Nev's is good at finding people mischievous, she's the best damn good person and bad person met. type of deal. If she says she's got a lead on Solus, I believe her. Oh shit! The Archon's palace. Something must have gotten them riled up. Spare a coin, please. On trust, I bless you. Okay, I don't like that. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn something on. Where is it? I hate motion blur with a passion. Okay, I hate motion blur with a fucking passion. But you know what I have to do to not make this game look like booty? Actually, how did that somehow make everything look? You still fucking... think you can talk him down before he starts his big ritual? That ritual is going to tear down the veil. The only thing separating us from the Fade and an endless number of demons. I have to talk him down. Varric, if anyone can talk Solus down, it's you. They after us. Is it because of the bar? Word travels fast in Minrathus. We've got to help her. We don't have time to get arrested, especially if we. Oh shit. Stop Solus before it finishes. Let's go. Harding's this way. She'll get us to Dumont Plaza. Then Nev will get us to Solus. Demons. Is Solus something demons on purpose? 
My guess is the veil is weakening, and they're slipping through the cracks. That sounds right. Oh, fuck. And the whole world is going to look a lot like this. Come on, this way. It should get us to Harding. This is why uh, Ben Rathis was always the best place to be during the events of Inquisition and everything. <laughs> You're safe now. Get inside and bar the door as quick as you can, okay? Thank you, miss. She got more freckles. Holy shit. Honey, you all right? I've been doing what I can to help. The ritual must be weakening the veil. Holy there are a shit. lot of scared people out here. And a lot of demons. Haven't seen this many come through the Fade in years. And what about you two? Are you okay? There was a lot of demons. The Archon's palace was taking shots at us, too. Guess the blood pumping. Have you got my gear? Right over there. Where's Nev Gallus? Wasn't she at the meeting point? Venatori got to her first. We grabbed her before we arrived and paid off the bar owner to keep it quiet. I'm not surprised our detective did something to piss off a cult of murderous blood mages. But their timing stinks. The bar owner said the Venatori took Nev to Dumont Plaza. Can you get us there, Harding? Not a problem. I saw Dumont Plaza while I was scouting the area, and it was crawling with Venatori. Follow me. Oh, We've never got mind. Company. Demons. Oh, oh no. Demons. We're all ranged combatants. Here they come. I think that's the last of them. Good. Let's get to Dumont Plaza and find Nev. You two all right? Pat yourselves up if you need it. I don't get it. If Solus tears down the veil, doesn't that destroy everything? Solus always talked about how beautiful the ancient world... You are in violation of Imperial order. Fucking no, I think that's Christ. Plaza. Let's move. They're the ones who make trouble with the ball. <laughs> Oh. Predatory cultists. I hate these assholes. Combat styles definitely, definitely different. Don't mind it though. Like the put up a barrier to block the way. Friendly bunch of cultists, aren't they? We've had run-ins with them in the Mornwatch. They're always hunting for dangerous magic. Yep, that's them. Come on. Guess we're sliding down. Arcane shot tab. Interesting. I gotta work on my timing. Another barrier, but it looks like Nev's work, not the Venatori's. All right, well, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm 
I hate to be that guy, but I'm going to end this save right here. Or I'm going to save the game and end this episode right here. Is what I mean to say. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.